Hello guys, today I want to present to you my new just released online course, course number 27 on my Teachable. I'm kind of shocked myself by this number, but I keep shooting videos and I keep releasing courses. And in a minute you will see a free video from this course. But briefly about the course, this one, Vue.js 3 with Composition API, CRUD page, SPA single page application with Laravel on the backend with API. And this is actually the first course that I have republished. The older course, if we scroll down, we have this one, Vue.js Laravel CRUD with SPA. It was released in July 2020, so almost two years ago, and it was Vue.js 2 and Laravel 7 at the time, and also Bootstrap framework on the front end. By people's demand, I decided to reshoot a lot of courses, a lot of older courses from Laravel 6 and 7, and the first on the list was exactly that Vue.js. And in addition to reshooting the same or similar functionality with Vue.js 3, I have added more content than in that older course. And that course became longer. Actually, it's a typically long course for me, almost three hours. Typically, I release a course of one hour or one hour and a half, but it took time to do almost live coding of this project. Let me show you the real example. So the table where you can filter the data, for example, where you can sort the data, where you can filter by dropdown or search for some global thing. Let's put it back. Then you can edit the record, delete the record, create post. Everything happens in a single page application. So it loads instantly. As you can see, you can log out, log in. There are roles and permissions. And this is the thing that wasn't present in the old course. So I added Vue.js 3 with Composition API and authentication and authorization. If we take a look inside the course, this is the content. So the section first is core Vue.js, how to use Vue.js 3 with Laravel API and how to structure everything. And then we take care of that table with pagination, with dropdowns, with ordering. Then we take a look at the routing in Vue.js, how to route separate pages in the same single page application. Then we're doing full CRUDs with forms, with validations, with file uploads and suite alert notifications, and also adding some global filters on top. And finally, we take care of roles, permissions and users, how to do that both on the front end and on the back end. So if you are interested in this course, you can purchase it for $29 at the moment, plus taxes if that applies to you, or it makes it even a better deal with every new course to have a yearly membership. As I said, there are 27 courses, and if you want to get all of them at once, you may subscribe to yearly membership, which will give you not only those 27, but also everything I will release for a year ahead. Currently, I'm planning to reshoot quite a lot of older courses like how to structure Laravel project, creating SaaS with Cashier and Stripe, which was Laravel 6 at the time, also testing for beginners, also eloquent expert level, this is the one. So a lot of new things will come in 2022. So subscribe to yearly membership to get all of that. And now I'm offering you a free video from that newest course, which is about composition API. So what is the difference between non-composition API, the older way to do Vue.js components, and how to transition that to the Composition API, which appeared in Vue.js 3. Enjoy that free video. In this video, we will take a look at a different way how to create Vue.js components in Vue.js 3, which is called Composition API. Basically, it divides the component into two things, composable and the main component. Composable, you can think about it as kind of like a service class in Laravel. So the set of methods and variables needed for a specific component. So it's kind of like include. Then your main Vue.js component becomes shorter and uses the methods from that composable. And also those methods could be reused in other components in the future. There's a debate whether it makes sense to do that for smaller projects because it's kind of additional work but I see more and more people switching to that composition API as kind of like new standard practice in Vue.js 3. So let's take a look how it works. In the Vue.js component, in the index view, instead of this, we will transform some part of that into a composable. We create a new file in resources.js, new file, subfolder, composables, and let's call it posts dot js not dot view dot js which means that this composable file is kind of like a service class include class for everything related to posts 
and it may contain a lot of logic about posts, but for example in index view we will include something from that composable and use only some methods of that composable. So enough theory, let's go to practice and create that composable content. First we import such a thing called ref from Vue.js itself and I will show you in a minute what that is and what it does. Then as in every file we export default, but here we use a function. Function use something. This is a default naming convention for composables. Use something, in our case use posts, and inside of that function we will define the posts as array and posts fetching method and we will return both. And actually let's start from that, so return posts and get posts. So similar to any Vue.js component it may contain variables and methods. So posts will be constant posts equals empty array, but here we use ref here. Ref is short for reference which means that this posts variable will be reactive. So whenever we call get posts, the post will be also refreshed and get posts will be also constant get posts, which will be an async method without any parameters. And inside of that method, we will do axios get API posts and then response, we will assign posts value to the response data like this. Something is wrong or of course it should be get posts equals. Okay this is our composable file and then it allows us to shorten this component the post index view by doing import get posts from composables posts which is one level or two levels above components or in fact composables posts. JS is not needed, so we import get post. And then, instead of all those data mounted end methods, we use a syntax called setup, which is a method. And inside of that method, in Vue.js 3 again, we need to first kind of download posts and get posts from that. So equals use posts. And it says cannot find module, of course, because it's not get posts, we import use posts from composable posts and now it's not underlined anymore cool then we need to call on mounted instead of this we call that in the setup to do that we need to import on mounted from view and then in here on mounted we call get posts like this and finally in here we return the data of posts and then we need to remove all of those data mounted and methods. And as you can see, the main Vue.js component is much shorter. So we offload some of the logic to the composable. And that's the main goal and benefit of the composables and composition API. Let's do npm run dev and see if it still works. So npm run dev, build successful. And if we refresh the page, we still have the content, no errors, everything is still working. So composables with composition API is just another way of doing the same thing. And it's your personal preference whether to use the old classic way or composition API.